first card out here, the Four of Pentacles and its possessiveness. So a lot of people are wondering, how long is this going to be going on? And that's what I was asking my guides. How long is the Divine Masculine going to keep on holding off in this reunion? And the Four of Pentacles is about someone who is holding on and not uh, giving in to something. Possessive energy. So let's see. In the upright, the answer is maybe. You need to hold on to what you have. You're better off being single than wasting your time and throwing away the precious gifts of love. So the energy that's coming up right now is about someone who is really worried to let go of what they've built, what they have, and they are feeling better off single than wasting their time and throwing away the precious gift of love. I feel like this person has loved many and um, it kind of turned out to be a waste of time, possibly because people just took from this person and then whatever had happened, right? So this is someone who really does think of the future. This is someone possibly who's even built up a life for themselves. So they feel like they might as well hang on to what they have right now instead of taking any risks at this time. Okay, and they're guarding their possessions. So this person may be really standoffish. Let's see what's at the bottom. All these at the bottom of the deck. I'm just, you know, seeing perspective. But most importantly, it's the moon. So you're dealing with someone who really is possibly keeping you in the dark right now, holding back on explaining themselves or what they are doing. Um, you may have no idea. This person may be making no movement towards you. And it's interesting because I was saying to my guards, how long are they going to be keeping this energy up? I will say um, we're going to be... So this is getting filmed right at the moon, actually. It's the 26th, so it's getting filmed right for the moon. I'll be posting this as the moon energy, this new full moon energy coming up on the 27th. Um, there may be some sort of clarity coming to this situation, but we'll see what's happening. Let's pull another card from this deck. I do want to put this out here. Okay, So the clarity could have to do with why this person walked away with the Eight of Shells. Eight of Cups at the bottom, but let's just pull one more card. What will be happening in this during this full moon energy? Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords, which is opposition, and we also have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay, there may be some sort of conversation that's happened. It's, to be honest, possibly not the most desirable. Um, it could lead to some sort of heartbreaking information with the Three of Swords, and I'm seeing a Queen of Pentacles energy as well there. Let's read what the Seven of Swords has to say just because we can get a little deeper here. So the opposition you are encountering can work to your benefit. Be clever and observant. So, you know, the full moon does bring out energy of... Opposition, that's a perfect description for it. There may be a bit of an outburst that happens. Who this is happening with, we are not sure yet. We'll see. It could have to do with this Queen of Pentacles energy here. Um, so that's really interesting. But let's pull another card and just see if we can get anything on that. But it really does look like someone may be having an argument um, during this full moon right at the end of February. So coming into March energy, right? Let's see. So I'm asking who this could be coming from. So we're having this six, another six energy here, okay? The six of swords energy. Hmm. That's, it's very interesting what's come out so far. The Eight of Gems, the King of Gems. So I do feel that this could be a husband and wife that are actually, we have perfectionism here, um, that are actually going to be like letting out a can of worms is what I'm getting as the message. There's going to be um, some sort of an opening in and understanding in this 
situation and I feel that it's time for it to close out. Now, this person could have um, another person, so it can be you, the viewer, that they want to return to, but I do feel that there's a King of Pentacles energy here, someone who has worked very hard to get where they are that is going to be almost exploding okay there's going to be a lot of attitude and argument over this full moon I'm going to clarify this okay plain and simple what is it in the devils at the bottom what is the four of gems about it's the eight of swords so someone has been hanging on to something um it could have had to do with a marriage. Eight of Swords often is the unhappy marriage, the unhappiest of them all. Um, and this person could have had fear about speaking their mind. Um, they may have had a possessive energy towards this marriage because, you know, when you're in a connection, you just feel like it's yours, like you own it. But it's been over with the death card here. So someone is really protecting a situation um, I feel like just because they wanted to have control, you could be dealing with a Capricorn energy because it is the King of Pentacles, but I feel that this person had invested a lot of time and energy into this situation, and this is why they were trying to hang on to it, possess it, um, in a fear of, you know, letting go. Maybe there was business involved in this situation. They felt like they had to look a certain way. Um, we do have the Three of Pentacles there. So what's going to be happening? Oh, wow. That just, I did not even mean to. So we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and the Magician in the reverse. And I was looking over here in the sword ways, sword energy. Um, there's a an energy here of some sort of um, a complete ending because we have the full card, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Something is going to happen for many over this weekend where this person is actually going to be walking away from the situation and going towards something that will make them very happy. But what is the three of swords is what I want to know. The six of pentacles in reverse. So someone is no longer going to be generous. And then we have another six in reverse. Someone is also no longer going to care how they are appearing to others. What is the ace of swords in reverse about? We have the healing. This is a conversation that's had to be had, um, but someone was hiding from it with the hermit there. And what is the eight of gems about? I know this is about the perfectionism um, energy, but I feel like it's the couple. Yeah, this couple, they were showing themselves to be perfect. We have the star card, um, like they were the dream couple type of thing, or like they, you know, had everything they wanted, but that really wasn't the situation. There's a lot that's about to come out here. Now, let's take a card here for the overall energy. Okay, so, oh yeah, okay, my cards are in the right. It's the Four of Wands in reverse, and that is the Freedom card. Um, so someone has, you know, with the Moon card here, by the way, Someone here is taking their freedom back. They did not feel like they had any freedom in this situation. Um, this can also be talking about a false connection. You know, someone that thought they were in this perfect relationship and they're really coming to the light, coming out of the dark about this situation during this full moon. Okay, so there's something that's going to be cleared up. Um and it's the Eight of Wands here on the top, which is very relevant, I feel. Um, and what it's saying is the journey. This person wants to embark on a new journey. This person also wants to free themselves from a Queen of Swords energy, it looks like. Because I'm getting that this Queen of Swords is about leaving a home energy, leaving possibly, you know, the marriage energy. Um, the Queen of Swords is often the wife that gets left but I feel like this person felt like even though they were married or in a, a situation they were still isolated they still felt like they were alone hermit I'm not joking this person still felt like they were alone even though they were in what was supposed to be a partnership this could be from a childhood connection um 
a childhood connection that they learned to support each other or, you know, they stayed together for support. It's the support card here. Interesting. So this person is ready to free themselves from this. It looks like this, there's going to be an argument happening for this full moon energy, literally in about 24 hours to 36 hours. Um, the Knight of Wands. I'm just picking up that this person, oh wow, so this person, they're going to speedy Gonzalez out of their type of energy, and I'm seeing them like going home, okay, home is where they, the home where the, you know, you, <laughs> you know, home is wherever you are, that type of an energy here, okay, justice, and this is going to be something that was meant to happen, look at the karma here. This was so meant to happen. Um, I feel like this person was getting pushed, Justice and the Tower, to break free from where they were, the, the situation they were in. And this is how now they're going to be able to take action to go to their heart, the home of their heart. Okay? Whoa. Nine of Pentacles. This person is going to be freeing themselves from the comforts that they were in. So is there anything else we need to know about that? I mean, this is the moon energy. This is what's happening right now. So it's coming out on the side. It's the celebration card, the three of cups, and the judgment card here. This is something, it's like a bittersweet energy. It's actually beneficial. Um to leave and it is a great thing, but it's also, it comes with its harshness, right? It comes with its, whoa, <laughs> that was just weird. And it also went on the side. It is a bittersweet energy, um, but it's, it's what the push, it's the push that was needed to take action. We have action here and action here. Um, out of some sort of a partnership or part, oh, did I just say partnership? Partnership. Because it's become a loss. This is the loss card, okay? Um, someone is probably being guided spiritually to move in a new direction. 